All right, in our next session, this is session number three, I believe, of uh, Photoshop. We're going to concentrate on layer styles in Photoshop. And I'll show you what I mean by layer styles. I'm going to hop into Photoshop right now where I have this document. Let me zoom in on it a little bit. I have this Photoshop document that I've put together of uh, some Mario Brothers characters that you might recognize. And this is how this is how it looks to begin with. All right, now, if you look at this copy of it, you'll see that the the characters have a different look to them. Like Mario has kind of a gold or yellow glow around him and, and um, the little mushroom guy has a blue outline and Luigi has kind of a shadow uh, kind of around his edge. And that's what layer styles are all about. So in this assignment, you're going to open up this document right here that has these four Mario characters and apply some styling to them and it will look yours won't look just like mine when you get done but that's okay it doesn't have to and and when you get done you're just going to save your work and that's it it's all about layer styles today so I'm going to go ahead and close these images right here I'm just going to get rid of them and what you'll have to do today begins kind of right now you you're, you'll start Photoshop. Get into Photoshop CS6 first of all once you're in Photoshop you're going to click file click open and you can browse your way to the courses drive, drive L, and to your class period, which would be either three or six, and go to the assignments folder and go to Photoshop and go to layer styles, session number three, layer styles. And here is this Mario layer styles document, so open that up. Control zero on your keyboard will make that fill the window. Uh, it just kind of zooms up on it a little bit if you want to do that. All right, here's how this works. Over on the right hand side you'll see the layers all stacked up here and each one of those four characters Mario, Luigi, the Mushroom and Yoshi they're all on different layers. All right, They're stacked up right here. So I'm going to click on the, the first one. You can tell by looking at the thumbnails you can kind of tell which who's on what layer but I'm going to click on the Mario layer here and uh, here's, here's how this whole thing happens. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the layer panel and there's a button that, that says FX kind of in a script font down here so I'm just going to click on that FX button. Now you don't have to do the same styles that I do but I'm going to show you how this works and then you can experiment and play with it. I'll start off pretty simple here on Mario I'm gonna add a drop shadow alright when I click on drop shadow I get this dialog box that comes up and if you look at Mario you'll see he's got a drop shadow showing up behind him there's kind of a shadow makes him look like he's popping off the page a little bit now you can play around with options here like the distance and the spread and and it will look a little bit different according to what you do to it there's an angle setting and you know the main ones here are distance spread uh, size and the angle but there's other things up here like the opacity and and the contour of the shadow and you can experiment with any of those and and on this one we'll start off just very simply I'm just gonna add this drop shadow okay good enough and I'll go ahead and click OK on this and I've got a drop shadow on Mario now uh, over on the layer panel if you look at this layer where Mario is you'll see right below the little Mario thumbnail it says effects and it says drop shadow so it even shows here that I added a drop shadow to that layer alright well let's move on I'm gonna go up here to the next layer this is Luigi and I'll go starts the same way I'll go down here to this effects button and again pick something to start with it doesn't matter that much what you start with but you gotta pick something uh, so I think I'll do a bevel emboss on Luigi alright well here I am working with bevel emboss and again all of these effects here the inner glow outer glow shadows everything they have their own settings that you can play with and I'm gonna kinda play with the size and the softening setting of this of this uh, bevel and and you know you can play with there's a chisel hard effect. I don't like that as well. There's a chisel soft effect. Uh, that's not. That's kind of cool. But I'm going to go back to the smooth effect. I like that a little bit better. And you could change this to an outer bevel if you wanted to. You know, there's just all these options here that you can play around with and see how they turn out. Uh, emboss, uh, pillow emboss. There's all kinds of possibilities, and each one of them is going to you know look a little bit different when you, you kind of tweak around with the size and the soften and the setting and even the contours of it will make a difference. See I don't like that gloss contour so I'm going to go back to what I had normally there. Now one of the things I want you to see is that you don't have to stick with just one 
effect. I could also add, I could come down here and click on Outer Glow, and I could also add kind of an Outer Glow to Mario as well. And now you can see as I increase the size of that Outer Glow that it's kind of glowing around him. And it, it's kind of this tannish color here, so I could change that if I wanted to. I could click that little color box and I make it kind of like a red or a pinkish glow. Click OK. And again, all of these options on the outer glow would make a little bit of a difference depending on how you have it set. So you can play around with those. And what I want you to see in this example is you can combine these effects. I've got the bevel effect and the outer glow going. All right, I'll go ahead and click OK on that one. And again, if you look at the layer panel, you'll see effects. And it shows that I did a bevel and emboss and an outer glow. I did both of those to Luigi. All right, well, I'll come on up here to the mushroom guy here, and I'm going to go down to the effects button. I'm going to start him off with a stroke. All right, so I'll put a stroke around him. I don't want to make it too big. I'll, I'll increase the size of it to about five up here. And right now the stroke is black, but I could change that again. You know, I could make it uh, a blue color if I wanted to. All right, so there we go. I got that. How about a little inner glow on this guy? And I'll increase the size of that inner glow a little bit. It kind of makes him the glow kind of sinks in toward the middle when you add an inner glow. And you can kind of play around with all the settings on that just like on any of the others. So I've combined two things here. I've got a stroke and an inner glow on this mushroom. And uh, that we can go with that, or I could, you know, I could play with more, but I think I'll go with that. I'll click OK, and that one's done. And again, on the layers panel, you'll see uh, on the mushroom guy it has effects and stroke and inner glow. All right, one more to go. Got old Yoshi over here. All right, so I'm going to click on the layer for Yoshi first. Go down to the effects button, and again, you, you just have to start somewhere. You can pick any of these that you really want to start with, um, but you got to start somewhere. All right, how about a little inner shadow on Yoshi? Now, this box is covering Yoshi up, so I'm going to move it over here and, and play around with distance, choke, size a little bit. There we go. All right, um, and, and you know, some of these, if you do like a gradient overlay on Yoshi, look what happened to him. <laughs> You don't really see Yoshi anymore. It's got this black and white gradient, but I can even change that gradient to be something else. And now it, it kind of looks like with that inner shadow, it looks like a cutout of Yoshi. It's in the same shape of Yoshi, but it's got this gradient applied to it. And I could change the angle of that if I wanted to. So now it's at a different angle than it was. I can scale the gradient if I want to. There's just all kinds of different things that you can do here. So I've got a combination here of an inner shadow and a gradient overlay going on. I could even add a drop shadow on that. And maybe tweak the spread and the size a little bit of that drop shadow. Uh, and so I got three things going on here an inner shadow, a gradient overlay, and a drop shadow. Wow. All right, so I'll go ahead and click OK on that. And I've got all four characters have now some kind of layer style applied to them. And that's what I was shooting for here. So, really, when you get something put together that you feel like, OK, cool, I got it, then you're done with this one and um, you're ready to save it. So, you need to save your work. File, save as. You always got to save your stuff on your network drive here. So, make sure you get to drive H. And you can just keep this name. It says Mario Layer Styles. Just keep that name. It's fine. Just keep it. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Don't change it. And uh, here it says Maximize Compatibility. Remember what we do with that. We click OK. It's not a problem. All right, so that is now saved safely away. And uh, this, is, this movie is completed, but now it's your turn to jump in and have at it and, and uh, try this out. All right, off you go. Layer Styles.